Welcome back to the Golf Strong YouTube channel. Today I'm going to talk about something that I talk about quite a lot. It's worked for me in my playing career and I've also brought it into a gym environment is what we call fields. Fields are basically exercises or movements you can do that will relate back to your golf swing. So in other words, if you're someone who slices the ball or has a snap hook or whatever your swing fault is, we can give you exercises or exaggerations that'll help you play better golf just using that motion or what we call feel to bring to the range and then to the golf course. So just to give you a little insight on fields and how they've worked for me in my own playing career. So I would have won some big amateur events over the years. Every amateur event I've won, I've always had a feel and they've always been different. So fields do come and go, there's no doubt about that. But once you trust something or have some sort of system or even insurance during a tournament that you can rely on, especially under pressure, having a feel will really get you through a pressure situation. It'll give you trust in what you're doing and it will help you play better golf. One of our primary objectives here at Golfstrong when we meet a client is assessing the physical and then trying to work out the pattern. So obviously we get that from the client. What we're trying to do is determine what exercises or feels can we do that really takes away all the technical jargon away from the improvement that makes it a whole lot easier for the person to improve. So very simply, for instance, if you can't move backwards, we might get you moving the opposite way with a little bit of resistance so you can feel the change and then you can bring it to the range and then to the golf course. So first up slicers, if you want to come with me, we're going to just show you some movements that'll help you improve your pattern. So if you slice the ball, sometimes the pattern can be caused by what's called a reverse pivot, which is you trying to make a turn, but you're going the wrong way or you're going towards the target. Essentially then the upper body takes over and the club is too far outside and moves across the ball. That's for a right-handed golfer. So our job will really be to assess how you rotate internally into your hip and to assess can you actually make a proper movement. But then coming back to fields, something so simple, just a resistance band. Again, we would do little easy, easy wins, getting into grip a band like you're gripping the club, moving your mass, what you feel will be a massive slide, but it won't be, and getting you to turn as much as you can and back. This, was, this is the exaggeration, which is total opposite to what you probably do, which is that reverse pivot. So if I told you create tension on the band, and reverse pivot, it would be very hard to do that. If I'm telling you to move to your right or move your mass away from the target, let's say, and feel something that's totally opposite. So if we do that over a course of time, and then I give you a club back, well, you will definitely move an awful lot better if we compare one to the other. That is the first point of improving your pattern away from what it already is. If we get you moving better, by some fields via exercises, via a little bit of tension, you can be sure your pattern will improve over time. And now for the opposite pattern. So just say you're someone who suffers from a snap hook or a miss high right for a right-handed player. So the pattern here we're, we're likely to see is a spine angle that's moving away from the target or hips that move the wrong way, let's say, and your spine angle is back and then the club moves to the right and there's a lot of play in the face. Okay, so that pattern, Sometimes when you bring it all the way back to the physical, can the person control their pelvis, so forward and back, and can the person separate their hips towards the ball and side bend and tilt? So there's a few different areas you can work on there. One really interesting one, again, back to a band. If I pull the band across my chest and I get into a hinge position, can I rotate and rotate the opposite way? If you watch my hips, you will naturally pivot if you keep the band in contact with your chest. So again, Hinge, twist, back up. That again is the opposite pattern to what's called early extension, which will lead all the mass or the momentum away from where you want it to go, which is more of a rotation towards the target. So if you want to work on your fields outside of a gym setting, let's say a range or a practice ground, again, you can have a band, they're very easy to bring around. Every golf bag should have one. So you can always work on different fields with your golf club. So in, let's say for moving away from a reverse pivot pattern, which is just wrapping the, the band around the grip of the club, taking your natural golf grip and working in the same feel for you and back in. So if you do that 10 times or 10 reps, you will get a sense of pulling resistance. Then unwrap, do it again without the club. You will naturally feel you're in a much better place. And back to the other pattern we discussed, which might cause snap hooks, early extension, a little bit of lateral movement. Again, same thing, you're trying to rotate and bring the tension through just to feel that movement. I'm now giving myself a lot more hip rotation, 
club is traveling in a much better direction. Again, you're just repping, you're retraining yourself, you're giving yourself some feels under tension. Take it all off, repeat again, and then go back to hitting shots a little bit slower. This is gonna help you feel the change to help you play better golf. I could talk all day about feels. It's something I rely on in my own golf, and we've asked numerous players, you'll see that on other channels, what their feel is to get an insight of what they think about during their golf swing. If you are interested in what your feel is, please put a comment below, subscribe, and watch out for more videos when we will discuss this in a lot more detail.